Hey homo sapiens, welcome back to the channel, and it's me, Rogue Mobby Scott. <laughs> so today, as you can see, I'm wearing some really out there lashes. And um, this makeup look is inspired by the Wilsons, the Wilsons Bird of Paradise. Now, if you saw my latest, well, latest? last makeup video I think it was um, I did do like a makeup look where I was uh, you know experimenting with the new Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics take me back from Brazil and I was you know thinking you know I want to do a series with um, Birds of Paradise because Birds of Paradise they are like some of the m most amazing looking birds that I've ever seen and they can transform and their colours their tails, they, they are just such wondrous things and if you don't know, now you do know, I am a big massive fan of David Attenborough and I also just, I, I also just love animals as much as I love makeup. So um, I've drawn inspiration once again from the Birds of Paradise for this and it's the Wilson's Bird of Paradise and uh, little trivia for you. <laughs> the first time that the Wilson's Bird of Paradise was ever recorded was in 1996. Now, being that, from what I know, it's not a new species, that is quite some time for it to be recorded. But, um, yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go on to the tutorial and, um, I'll see you soon. So guys, to start off the video, I just want to say that I'm going to try and concentrate on just the one eye, but you will see both eyes being done if that makes any sort of sense. So as you can see, I've started off blocking out my natural skin colour with some concealer on my right eye, and I'm blending that concealer in. Sorry about the lighting, I have no idea why this is so bright. Maybe it's because I'm wearing some highlighter spray that I decided to put on my face and it's just reflecting but anyway I'm just blending that out and then I'm going to clean my finger just to blend out the edges a little bit more just so that the blend is seamless for when I need to put on my shadows so we're going to continue blending that and then we're going to go on to the next part which is applying the first eyeshadow colour so as you can see I'm going in with a nice blue that matches the um, Wilson's Bird of Paradise perfectly because it's on its head and I'm kind of using the whole colours from head to tail and also using the blacks and using some of the feathers that shine um, kind of like a purplish brownish colour as well so you'll see that anyway but I'm just placing this in the first section of my eye which I'm splitting into three and I'm just going in I'm not going to say that these um, eyeshadows that I'm using from BH Cosmetics don't work, but the, what I was doing is making sure that I didn't go too, um, too opaque straight away. So going on to the NYX palette that I recently just bought, um, I'm using the yellow, and like I said just before, I'm going in lightly and building up upon that color because I don't want it to be too vivid, but I don't want it to be too dim either. As you can see also, I'm packing on the colour and I'm not blending these colours in together because I don't want the colours to change. I want them to be as opaque as the colours I have placed separately. Going in with the red now from the NYX palette also. And I'm actually just going in with this colour. I'm not, you know, making sure that it's um, buildable. I'm making sure that it is so opaque because I just want this look to just look very vivid at the end before I place on the black. So you can see that I've left out my crease because I'm now going to, no I'm still blending, <laughs> I'm going to blend out those edges at the top and then I will, you know, create the cut crease in a bit later. So going in with the flattest brush that I could find and it's very squared off, 
um, I'm going to now create my cut crease and as you can see here I'm placing it on my line um, my lash line and then I'm blinking and building upon that and then I'm going to find where it has been placed on my eyelids to create the cut crease for me this is like literally the easiest way to create a cut crease is placing it on your lash line and then blinking you're going to see me do loads of little blinks and turning my head to make sure that it cuts for me because i don't want to have to do the work i just want to have to fill it in easy said done so just filling that in now and then i'm going to keep building upon and fixing any you know um dull lines making sure all of those lines are very sharp and then I'm going to, you know, place on the eyeshadow once I've done that. I'm creating a wing now here, just because I wanted everything to look kind of birdish, obviously, because I am recreating a look inspired by the Wilson's Bird of Paradise. Going in with now a charcoal, 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 a charcoal kind of black, I'm just going to fill in all that concealer that I've done and as you can see I'm just patting it in motions because I don't want any blotchiness so I'm just working in sections before um, I carry on. So I'm just going to work in sections continuously and fill in everything and be very careful that I don't mess up the look. As you can see I'm being very delicate normally I'm not that delicate but today I was because I didn't want to mess up the look like I just said anyway I'm going to stop talking because you've got plenty more to watch and you've still got you know to see the rest of this me covering up the concealer So now that I've done that, I'm going to now blend out that wing because I want it to look kind of murky and um, less vivid. Just for the fact that the lashes that I am going to wear is going to draw so much attention to them that you might as well just kind of blend out everything anyway. So I'm just refilling in my um, cut crease just because I could see tiny little gaps. And I'm just making sure that the black is as opaque as it can be as also. I did intend on putting glitter on this look, black glitter, but I opted out. Why? Because I couldn't find it. Using the smallest brush that I could find in the new brush set that I recently also bought, I'm just blending out um, the lines of the black just to blur them because I don't want it to look too cut and I didn't want to add any other colours onto the cut crease, I just wanted it, it to be exactly the colours of the bird, which is exactly why I'm doing what I'm doing and I'm absolutely happy with it. Going in with a bigger fluffer br fluffy brush to blend out those lines also, just to murk it, murk it up a bit. Now I'm just going in on my uh, lower lash line. I was gonna say waterline, but I'm not doing my waterline. I'm going in with that black and I'm also going to blend in some of that red that I have also used on my um, outer corners and sort of wing, just to bring the whole look together um, I chose not to use the yellow and the blues at the bottom also just because it, I just thought it would be a bit too much now I'm going in with some highlighter on my finger I didn't know how much highlighter I wanted in this look so I just chose to use my finger and just to build and blend as much as I could I didn't even contour um, beforehand as as I don't think I said my face has already been done as you can see it's shining like a goddess right now because I am using the new Prep and Prime Fix Plus um, in gold light from MAC. Going in with my eyebrows and I'm trying to make them as straight as possible um, just because my eyebrows at the ends don't have much hair so I didn't feel like I needed to glue those down and then put makeup on, on top of those so I'm just actually drawing them in with um, a NYX black jet black pencil and um, I felt like that would distract from the hairs underneath because I barely have any anyway so you wouldn't really notice them <laughs> Mm. 
Now we are coming to the end of the look so I'm just going in with a nice shimmery black blue purplish lipstick just because I wanted this to kind of look a little gothic also because like why not there's nothing wrong with being a goth so I'm using that lipstick and it's from Freedom and it's from the Star Wars collection and this is Sith Lord um, if you wanted to know and then I'm going to go in with some highlighter which is a purplish brownish color which absolutely goes well with my skin depending on what else I'm using on my face so today I'm only using this just because the feathers of the bird kind of reflect that sort of way So guys, I hope you liked the tutorial. Let me know down below in the comments what you think. And I'm also going to leave some links, well not links, I'm also going to leave some products that I've used on my face prior to the um, makeup look. And I will um, also, hopefully, because you know sometimes I get lazy, leave some um, products that I've also used on my face i.e. lipsticks, lashes and eyeshadows. Okay? Well, on to the next video, I guess. Bye. Frank Moggy Scott.